Okay, in this video we're taking a look at the iFlight Success Micro F4 Flight Tower System. And this box here says it's 2 to 6S, but that's mislabeled. Uh, it's only 2 to 4S. Um, comes in three boards here, as you can see. They're all 16 by 16 size, so everything is getting even smaller. I did a review on the 20 by 20 version of this one, which actually has a little bit higher end components than this, I think. Uh, I'll put a card in the corner and also that video down in the description if you want to check out that one. If you're looking for a 20 by 20 stack, this is a 16 by 16 stack. So that one here unassembled. Uh, it comes with obviously three boards. You get the four and one EC flight controller video transmitter. We'll look at that closely here in a second. Comes with an XD30 um, cable already soldered onto the connector here, and you just solder this onto the ESC. You do get a little whip antenna here, micro FL connector for the video transmitter, and you get this little wiring harness here. I believe this is going to be for a camera. Uh, and then here you get a bag of hardware, some long screws, you get some of these silicone uh, spacers and rubber grommets in here, some nuts, and it's a 3D printed part here for the bottom. And I have another one here. That's already assembled, so it's going to look like this. Get the long strugglers up through the bottom. Get these. These are some rubber spacers here and some silicone grommets, and then you got the nut on top. It holds it all together. Now all three boards are held together via pins to save space, of course, and weight. Uh, you know, it does. You can see here it does move slightly. So some of you guys have aren't into the pins, might not like that, but it's got so little mass uh, and you got a long screw going through there, just hard, it's hard to see it breaking unless you really have a really bad crash. So that's what the stack should look like assembled. The solder pads are really tiny. Take a closer look at the boards here now. If you guys are wondering uh, flight by flight footage, you've already seen the flight footage, it's in this stack is in the Cine B. You can see right there. And so if you want to have an idea of how this will fly, um, go watch that video. Now I will be putting this into another frame. Uh, I'm not sure if I talk about that yet, so I'm not going to mention it in this video. I'll have to find out. It is going to go into something else, not whoop style. So uh, if you guys are like, oh, I need to see this, uh, something a little bit more performance oriented, that, will, that video will be coming later. So I'm going to be putting this into a build so you'll see more flight footage is coming later, but if you just want to see it flying in the Cineb, a video for that is also down in the description, and I'll put a card in the corner for that one as well. So, set these parts aside. Let's look at the 4-in-1 EAC first. It's a 12-amp BL Heli S ESC 4-in-1, so it's not 32-bit. And you can get a close look at the FETs there. Not sure if my camera can really bring out any of the details. This is very tiny. Solder pads are very tiny here, so you're going to need some very good soldering skills to get the wires on there without lifting pads. Um, I would suggest practicing on something else before you start working with this one. Here's the 4 in 1 EC, so it does come with an OSD MPU 6000 gyro. And the it's the F411 chip. The target on here is the uh, Matic F411. It's got a 5 amp, uh, two, I'm sorry, a 5 volt, 2 amp uh, voltage regulator on there. And you see there's uh, some tiny pads down here. Some of them are silk screen, some of them are not. I will put a little picture up here of all the wire connections and also a larger picture of the wiring diagram for all three boards that will uh, scroll here. Okay, so here is the video transmitter, 16 by 16 video transmitter, uh, has pit mode, 25 milliwatts, 100 milliwatts, and 200 milliwatts. IRC tramp uh, for the uh, VTX remote control protocol. You can use a button here, of course, if you want, if you want to, and just have the micro FL connector. I know some of you guys don't like that, but that's what this one comes with. It's a super tiny uh, 16 by 16 board, and let's give you a 
weight. I'm not sure how useful this is. It's, it's already pretty light, but uh, this is the build stack without the XD30. And that's coming in at 9.5 grams. And then with the XD30, it's 12.18. And then with the VTX antenna, 12.8. And with the little camera cable there, we're coming at 13.3. So I'll give you an idea of what all is going to go into your build. Obviously, you're going to have to add a frame, camera, uh, receiver, and motors to get a complete build. But this is pretty much everything in the stack. It's going to come in at 13.35 grams. Anyway, so that's going to do it for this video. If you guys have any questions about this, uh, let me know. Um, and I will put this into another build. Uh, you'll see that it's a pretty exciting frame. I think you guys will like that, so stay tuned for that video. Uh, as I said, I'm not sure if I can talk about it now, but you'll probably see it pretty soon. i got to put that build together, and yeah, you'll see this in action in another future video coming up pretty soon, so stay tuned.